What's up guys? Welcome back to Podium Couch. If you guys are subscribed to the channel, you probably saw the last video where I talked about how I was going to get this MST to run on rubber tires. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. To talk about the rubber tires on the MST, the tuning for it was actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be and it's almost stupid what I had to do to get it to work just right. But before I show you guys what I did to change the car to run, let me show you what the car was drifting like before I changed basically the whole layout of the car. So let's talk about the changes I made to the MST. And like I said, it's kind of stupid. But um, when I started running on the plastic tires and really tuning it in and getting it to work, I top mounted the motor, moved the ESC back. I put a lot of weight towards the back. I stiffened up the front suspension so that it would push more weight to the back. And really getting this thing to slide well on rubber tires just took undoing all the hard work I had put into making this thing tuned right for plastic to run on rubber. So I've lowered the motor back down to the bottom, moved the ESC back to the front. I've tried to shift as much weight back to the front as I possibly could because the rubber gets a lot more grip, which makes it harder to steer. I also softened the front suspension so that when the car or so that the weight transfers better to the front of the car to allow it to steer and when you guys like i said this was so simple to get this thing to work on rubber tires and i'm actually quite pleased with it just because when i got into rc drift i thought i would be running on rubber tires and i guess just because that's what i'm used to with rc cars that's what real cars run on i i don't know i don't know what my obsession is with rubber tires but let me show you guys the difference this made. Um, I'm ashamed to say I'm still running on a messed up gyro. I gotta order a new one. Uh, I'll do it by Thursday. I'm gonna get a new gyro for the car so that when I do these videos, I'm not getting the shake and I can get cleaner drifts. But it is still drifting. As much as it's messy, it's still drifting. So I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna drift it for you guys uh, and let you guys see what the changes how the changes improved this. Check it out. Alright guys, so as you saw, a huge improvement in the 
configuration helped the drifts tremendously from running off the track and all over the place. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys like it. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what else you guys want to see me do. I like getting experimental with the cars and I would love to have your input. I want to know what you guys want to see. And I definitely will respond to any input you guys can give. Have a good one. See you later.